Wednesday the 25th of October 2023 First reading Reading from the Book of Romans You must not let sin reign in your mortal bodies or command your obedience to bodily passions. You must not let any part of your body turn into an unholy weapon fighting on the side of sin. You should, instead, offer yourselves to God and consider yourselves dead men brought back to life. You should make every part of your body into a weapon fighting on the side of God. And then sin will no longer dominate your life since you are living by grace and not by law. Does the fact that we are living by grace and not by law mean that we are free to sin? Of course not. You know that if you agree to serve and obey a master you become his slaves. You cannot be slaves of sin that leads to death and at the same time slaves of obedience that leads to righteousness. You were once slaves of sin, but thank God you submitted without reservation to the creed you were taught. You may have been freed from the slavery of sin, but only to become slaves of righteousness. Responsorial Psalm Our help is in the name of the Lord. If the Lord had not been on our side, this is Israel's Psalm. If the Lord had not been on our side, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their anger was kindled. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Then would the waters have engulfed us, the torrent gone over us, over our head would have swept, the raging waters. Blessed be the Lord who did not give us, a prey to their teeth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Our life, like a bird, has escaped from the snare of the fowler. Indeed the snare has been broken, and we have escaped. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Gospel Acclamation Alleluia, Alleluia. The sheep that belong to me listen to my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. Gospel Reading from the book of Luke Jesus said to his disciples, you may be quite sure of this, that if the householder had known at what hour the burglar would come, he would not have let anyone break through the wall of his house. You too must stand ready, because the Son of Man is coming at an hour you do not expect. Peter said, Lord, do you mean this parable for us, or for everyone? The Lord replied, What sort of steward, then, is faithful and wise enough for the master to place him over his household to give them their allowance of food at the proper time? Happy that servant if his master's arrival finds him at this employment. I tell you truly, he will place him over everything he owns. But as for the servant, he says to himself, My master is taking his time coming, and sets about beating the men servants and the maids, and eating and drinking and getting drunk. His master will come on a day he does not expect, and at an hour he does not know. The master will cut him off and send him to the same fate as the unfaithful. A servant who knows what his master wants, but has not even started to carry out those wishes, will receive very many strokes of the lash. The one who did not know, but deserves to be beaten for what he has done, will receive fewer strokes. When a man has had a great deal given him, a great deal will be demanded of him. When a man has had a great deal given him on trust, even more will be expected of him. Gospel of the Lord